What's up, America? This is Kim with Geographer Arms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're gonna check out the Can Can Hip Hugger. I have the new one. I've done a review of it before, but this is the updated version. So let's check it out. So real quick before we get started, a lot of people get confused because I'm a traditional gun belt and holster girl, but I have a lot of women viewers and they ask me a lot about different products and the thing is that a lot of these are not things you can go to the store and try on and sometimes the reviews online are all done by the companies who make them so they're going to make them seem like they're great and wonderful so I'm here to tell you do these products work, are they safe, do they perform like they're supposed to so that's why I do this, it's for you ladies to see is this a good fit for you or is it not? So here we have the new version. I also uh, brought out my older version so we can compare those a little later in the video. They come in three different sizes and I'm not talking about the size that you're gonna wear like a small, medium, large. Um, they come in different sizes for the gun. So they have a subcompact, the compact that we're using today and then they have a bigger one called like a shebang and that's for like a full size gun. They have two different colors. They have nude and black and then the black one you can get like different accents on it so like this one has pink and they have like purple so they're really cute i love the the new um design we'll get a close-up of this really pretty um like pattern that they have there you can see the new design here and then you can see the old design is just a plain black it's really easy to put on it's kind of like a really long bra um, on the newer one they actually added some more rows which is nice so you have more ability to adjust it if you want it a little tighter or a little looser it's always better to have it tight so it holds it nice and close to your body. In the older version, you can see there was only three rows. Uh, another change that you're going to notice in the newer version, it took out the option for the uh, left side, that would be like the left side appendix carry. And instead, they put in this uh, zipper pocket, which is really nice. You could put cash in there or maybe your ID or anything. You know, if you were out running or using this for exercise, that'd be a really good feature because you could stick your key in there or... Um, you know, anything that you needed, you didn't want to lose. It also comes with two smaller pockets that are perfect for like a magazine or you could put a pocket knife in there. So that's nice to have on the sides there. And now let's look at the back. This is obviously a right-handed holster, so it's going to be on the right-hand um, draw. The other pocket is a Velcro closure and it's got a little, um, little, clip there if you wanted to put some keys so just lots of versatility one thing that i didn't like in the previous version and it's still there is they have this little pocket in the back still here um this is going to be right where your spinal cord is so yeah it might seem like a great idea to put a magazine there or something because it's really easy to conceal because it's at the curve of your back but that's a terrible idea because if you fall down you could injure yourself really bad especially being a woman let's say you're going to get attacked they're probably gonna throw you up against something or throw you on the ground and that's gonna go right into your spine. So that's a very bad idea. Don't put anything there. One thing before we go on to the demo of how to use it, there's actually a magnet in the very front and that's supposed to help keep it in place. So if you did carry an appendix, um, that's a nice added feature. So when you're gonna holster it, you wanna obviously keep your finger off the trigger just like we always do. They have a little tab so you can hold it open and you can put it in. And then now you're able to tuck everything in and conceal. So let's look at how you draw with it. I put on a little sweatshirt because I figured I'm going to show you how I would, you know, normally carry it because probably if I was wearing this, I would have something to put on on top of it to help conceal more. So let's check it out. Get a nice purchase on it. Bring it out. Now let's talk about concealment in it. I found it really comfortable because first of all, the draw is very similar how I normally draw because I usually carry 430 with a normal holster and gun belt. And also I found it easier to conceal for me personally because that's usually how I dress. I dress where I have um, more concealment in the back. I'm trying to layer up back there and, and hide that. So I did find if I were like, a, I could never wear a tight fitting shirt with it. It's, it's gonna obviously show through, but it did do a really good job of keeping it close to your body and it had a nice cant so that it did conceal it really well, but you would have to wear a larger shirt Another thing I like to do is I like to wear like open front shirts with like a tank top or I use a lot of vests or cardigans to help conceal. I'll put some pictures up of me wearing it. I spent two weeks trying it out. I did think it was really fun to be able to wear yoga pants with like sweatshirts and stuff like that. 
but I'll still go back to my old ways of <laughs> gun belt and holster. Let's talk about first the things I liked and the things that I didn't really enjoy. I really liked how well it concealed. I also liked that it mimicked how I normally carry because I think it's really important that you carry consistently. Don't carry in your bra one day and then appendix another and then 430 and then on your thigh. I think it's really important to be consistent so that if something was to happen, you're gonna you're gonna be quicker because that's how you train, that's how you're used to carrying, and you're just it's gonna make you more prepared for something. I also really found that it stayed in place way better than the Dean Adams one, and it also was much better made. After two weeks of wearing the Dean Adams, it already had snags in it, and I mean, if you wear that thing for a year, there'd be I think if I wore it at least it would be in shambles. But the Can Can one really held up well. It seems like it's really well made and it actually stays where you put it, which is a big plus for me. So my one and only big complaint with this holster is that it doesn't have a trigger guard option. I just wish that they would do that. I don't know why they don't give you an option. Uh, that, that was one of the reasons why I tried out the Dean Adams corset because I wanted to try out their trigger guard. So you could buy um, a trigger guard and it has a Velcro on one side and you could use it with this holster, so that is an option. But what I would really love to see is if they gave you a better Kydex insert option, like this is my one for my crossbreeds. Now the only problem is that this one's so big it won't fit in the uh, holster, so it's not gonna work, but that's my one, and one big complaint. And so if you were to do this, I would look into finding um, one of these inserts. You can buy them from different companies. I think even the well-armed woman has them, so um, it's a good thing. I think I would just feel safer carrying this way if I had an actual trigger guard like this. We hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I have another Comfort Tac um, belly band coming out and there's one other one that you guys mentioned. So if there's any other belly bands that you guys like or you have questions about, let me know. Maybe I can hopefully do some kind of like belly band showdown or something and we can compare them all and see which ones you know, how they ha they hold up against each other. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube and click that bell so you get notified every time we put a video out. We're on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course we put all of our premium content on Patreon. Until next time, remember, it's better to be judged by 12 than carried by six. <laughs>